Australia's acquisition of the Advanced Anti-Radiation Guided Missile Extended Range ARGM -ER, marks a significant step in modernizing its military capabilities, reflecting both a deepening alliance with the United States and a strategic response to escalating threats in the Indo-Pacific. This deal, executed through the U.S. Foreign Military Sales Program, encompasses multiple contracts, phased deliveries, and a clear deployment plan to arm key Royal Australian Air Force aircraft. Designed to neutralize enemy radar systems, the ARGMER enhances Australia's deterrence posture at a time when regional powers, notably China, are flexing their military might with provocative actions near Australian waters. The contract for the ARGMER has unfolded in two major tranches, underscoring Australia's commitment to a robust missile stockpile. In February 2023, the U.S. Defense Security Cooperation Agency approved a $506 million sale of up to 63 AAMER missiles, including 20 captive air training missiles and support equipment, with Australia allocating $431 million in August 2023 to finalize this purchase. A second, larger deal followed, with the DSCA approving up to 100 additional missiles in September 2024 for $649 million. In January 2025, the Albanese government confirmed an investment of up to $650 million for this batch, bringing the total commitment to over $1 billion. Northrop Grumman Systems, the primary contractor, will supply the missiles, equipped with advanced GPS systems like the Selective Availability Anti-Spoofing Module, or M-Code, along with spare guidance and control sections missile containers, software, and technical training. This partnership, requiring temporary U.S. GAT personnel deployments for oversight, highlights the strategic alignment between Canberra and Washington, aimed at reinforcing stability in the Western Pacific. Delivery of these missiles is a phased process tied to Northrop Grumman's production timeline and the U.S. Navy's own integration schedule, which saw the ARGM-ER enter service in 2023. The first tranche of 63 missiles is likely in production, with deliveries expected to commence in 2025 or 2026, aligning with typical FMS lead times. The second batch of up to 100 missiles, contracted in early 2025, could extend deliveries into 2027, depending on manufacturing capacity and the missile's transition to full rate production. This timeline ensures Australia builds a substantial war stock, as emphasized by the Department of Defense, to deter potential adversaries. Operationally, the missiles will be deployed from key Royal Australian Air Forces such as Williamtown and Amberley, integrating into the ADF's suppression of enemy air defenses and destruction of enemy air defenses framework, with plans to expand compatibility across its air fleet over time. The AARGM-ER will arm three cornerstone Royal Australian Air Force platforms, enhancing their lethality and survivability. Initially, the Boeing EA-18G Growler, 12 of which specialize in electronic warfare, will carry the missile, leveraging its compatibility with the existing AGM-88E ARGM for rapid integration. The Boeing FA-18F Super Hornet, with 24 in service, follows suit, offering a versatile strike capability already familiar with AGM-88 variants. Looking ahead, the Lockheed Martin F-35A Lightning II, with Australia's fleet of 72 completed in December 2024, will incorporate the ARGM-ER in due course, likely post-2025, as software updates enable internal carriage in its weapons bay, a feature unique to this missile's design compared to its predecessors. This phased deployment ensures immediate readiness with the Growlers and Super Hornets while future-proofing the F-35A for contested environments, amplifying Australia's ability to disrupt enemy air defenses from standoff distances. The missile's role in Australia's defense strategy is multifaceted, driven by both technological superiority and urgent regional threats. At 13.8 feet long, with a 10-inch diameter and a weight of 361 kilograms, the AARGM-ER boasts a speed exceeding Mach 2, an extended range over the AGM-88E, and a multi-mode guidance system resistant to jamming. 
It targets land and sea-based radar emitters, a capability critical to neutralizing modern air defense systems proliferated by adversaries like China and Russia. For Australia, this translates to enhanced survivability for its tactical aircraft, a stronger deterrence posture, and interoperability with US-led coalitions like the Quad and AUKUS. Defense Minister Richard Marles has stressed its importance in delivering the national defense strategy's priorities, while Minister Pat Conroy lauds its world-class range and effectiveness, positioning the ADF to counter sophisticated threats head-on, an investment bolstered by a broader $4.1 billion commitment to guided weapons. Recent events underscore the urgency of this acquisition. In February 2025, Chinese warships conducted live fire drills in the Tasman Sea, detected 640 kilometers off New South Wales on February 21st, with a second exercise near New Zealand days later. These drills, involving the destroyer CNS Zunyi and frigate CNS Hengyang, featured weapons with ranges up to 1,000 kilometers, prompting Australia to deploy HMAS Arunta for monitoring. Earlier that month, a Chinese J-16 fighter fired flares at an RAF surveillance plane over the South China Sea, a provocative act amid ongoing tensions. These incidents, coupled with China's expanding naval presence in Australia's exclusive economic zone, highlight the radar-guided threats the AARGMER is designed to counter, ensuring the RAF can operate safely in contested airspace and protect national interests. Compared to regional competitors, the AARGMER stands out for its precision and adaptability. China's YJ-91, an anti-radiation missile with a range of about 150 kilometers, lacks the AARGER's extended reach and advanced anti-jamming features, limiting its effectiveness against mobile or hardened targets. Russia's KH-31P, used regionally and exported to nations like India, offers a comparable supersonic speed, up to Mach 2.7, and a range of up to 200 kilometers. But its older guidance systems are less resilient to electronic countermeasures than the ARGMER's M-code integration. Neither rivals the ARGR's compatibility with fifth-generation platforms like the F-35, nor its seamless integration into Western allied operations, a strategic edge for Australia in coalition scenarios. While China and Russia continue to refine their systems, the ARGMER's ongoing development Backed by Northrop Grumman's testing regime, five successful live-fire tests by May 2023 ensures it addresses post-2020 capability gaps, keeping Australia ahead of the curve. In conclusion, the ARGMER deal represents a cornerstone of Australia's military modernization, blending substantial investment, over $1 billion across two tranches, with a clear deployment strategy across the Growler, Super Hornet, and F-35A. Its supersonic precision and extended range fortify the ADF against immediate threats, as demonstrated by China's recent maneuvers, while its superiority over regional competitors like the YJ-91 and KH-31P solidifies Australia's air dominance. As deliveries roll out through 2027, this missile will not only enhance tactical survivability, but also reinforce Australia's role as a pivotal US ally in the Indo-Pacific, balancing power in an increasingly volatile region. With the Albanese government prioritizing long-range strike capabilities, the AARGMER stands as a testament to Australia's resolve to keep its skies and its people secure.